All right, guys, welcome back to another ESPN MIC highlight reel today. And this week was an absolute banger, and I just want to dive right in. So, really quick, guys, if you get any value from any of these videos that we put on as a brand, as a community, as you know, myself personally, you know, anything that you see at MIC, guys, and you have, you know, any other questions, you want to get more in depth detail, just text 213 458 5997. That is my business line directly. You can book a call to go to my Google Calendar. And uh, within that, let's uh, let's dive right in. So I just want to make sure you guys have points of contact. So Alex, you know, we usually track Alex's stats to give you guys kind of the best case scenario as Alex is definitely the best trader at MIC, the most disciplined. He, you know, brings out the biggest numbers. He throws the most size. Um, Alex is, you know, the, the top echelon, man. So what we do is we show his charts every week. We show what the members were doing. We show kind of like what's going on. And uh, and I don't have every single, I don't even think Alex traded Monday. So we're actually just going to see what the members did on Monday. But I do have the rest of the week as uh, sometimes I just can't find a uh, chart or whatever. But yeah, let's go through this, guys. So check this out. So PO, member PO, I love what he did right here, man. Right here, come to the open, a pop right where the stock fell before, covered the wash. Fantastic job right there. Nice job, PO. Marvin D77 on QH, waited for the parabolic, the stuff moves added in, uh, confirmation added in a little bit more. Really good job on QH, Marvin. Wanted to check out what reasonably Izzy does as we're, look, here's the thing that's so cool about this, guys. I love this. This is, obviously we're not just a short community, so there's a, there's a couple longs here. And the long on QH was really well handled, sold, beautiful job. And then the long here was so well handled on SNTG, even though it didn't really, you know, go the way he wanted. And the reason for that is because his risk management was on point. So something that's maybe downtrending, wanted to take a stab, didn't get quite what he wanted. You know, he cuts it and that's exactly what it should be. So you guys need really good risk management. You guys need to make sure that you are always, always, always following process. And a big part of process guys is knowing when to cut and not holding on to something, especially if you're being a little contrarian like that. Definitely that chart is definitely a little bit more of a downtrender right here than this one. But I'll tell you right now, like if you do take a stab on something, you must have a plan baked within process and know exactly where to get out so the reason why i wanted to bring up ease chart on um on hootie is i actually really like the first short oops sorry guys i have a sensitive mouse i like the first short on hootie what i don't love here and e would have been so much better is to wait where the stock fell before which was this general area so if you're not chasing weakness which i know we all get excited to do and we're like dude it's weak it's gonna go lower and i know E's a really good trader but like sometimes when you give it that fomo this is where you want to be for the reshort because these are the tops guys and that's where it failed before so just remember that like and you find yourself chasing then getting squeezed out now he did a good job of a little cushion right here and a little cover and i'm sure he was still arguably profitable in this trade because he got this cushion he got the second cushion then cut out right there like really good job unbelievable risk management but it would have been just so much easier had he waited for outer line so you know that's just always my critique if i do have any critiques it's just sniper entries guys is always going to take so much guessing out of the game and it's just going to take so much discomfort out of the game as well and then hooper x awesome job on this one i love 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 what he did on ilag outer lines and then waited exactly where it failed before you know upwards of obviously scales but started where he should have so really really good job there let's dive into um tuesday tuesday the 2nd of may welcome to may guys Alex, 34,300 for the week, uh, 34,300. Solid day today. Our 460 breakdown was the key to the fade today. I thought I had a great exit, but the stock cratered without me. Leju, not much borrows out there today, so uh, so did not think this would get crowded. Patience paid here. Found myself over trading on LXEH, so I decided um, that was that it was for that w it was for me and moved on. Okay, that they decided that that was it. Uh, T-I-R-X, I totally fumbled this one, saw the death candle, and was too afraid to attack. But guys, $34,000, really good job. Let's kind of pull up the watch list and see exactly what Alex was talking about as it equates to what the members were seeing, you know, right coming to the open. Uh, Leju, we're coming to, I'll just put a little a 30-day chart for you so you guys can scroll back and see. And then we are on the second, so right here. 
So guys, it runs day one, runs day two, suit like huge up pre-market, but then totally craters, you know, pre-market, and then has this little pop in the open. And I'll read out what Alex was saying. So Leju, you know, this was on the watch list, guys. All the members can read this, you know, in the community. This is a huge resource at MIC. Similar to QH, big move for this one because the range is so high. A lot of range, guys. There's a lot of range on this stock. Uh, I will wait to see how VWAP reacts. If we reject, I will take a starter short. If we hold, I will let it extend until a death candle then attack. Waiting for more information at the open. Alex did a phenomenal job on this. I loved what he did. And he waited for this pop. And honestly, because there was so much range, guys, he didn't want to get in front of it on outer lines. He waited for the stuff. This little death candle right here with that wick. I'll show you. I'll zoom in right here. And then just absolutely freaking obliterated this thing on the way down. All the way covering near 4 20 like right like he literally dead bottom covered that right there so beautiful job i love what he did right there and uh let's go on to lxeh one sec a lot of examples this week guys a lot of examples l lxeh on the second which is going to be right here yeah, I mean, a lot of these charts, guys, this week, it was kind of a weird week, right? Like, we got so much action, but everything gave back its gains, like, immediately. Like, it was crazy. These things were, like, total, like, pumping ups or just total organic runners that just totally died. Like, all this action just really, really came out. This was, you know... Uh, I'll, this isn't on the watch list, so I'll just talk about it, guys, because, you know, if something's not on the watch list, we see it as a community, 1,000 members see it. We're basically a scanner. You know, MIC is literally just a scanner in itself. So, you know, I love what Alex did here, waited for the big pump to kind of, you know, fail out, um, you know, hit this pop in there and, and just cover it up immediately. And probably didn't make too much on this, but got a little bit of the range, got a little bit of the pump and dump action, and, uh, and yeah, it paid off. Let's go to our H-O-U-R. Give me one sec. Really, really, really beautiful chart. This thing is up after hours, you know, the day before. Then on Tuesday morning, guys, it's up pre-market again. It puts in a nice top before open, which we're always, always, always focused on. And Alex was saying, potential hot socks of the day, best to ignore if new. Uh, these will each have money flow switching to all morning long. But then, guys, once this thing was starting to really decline and put in a top pre-market after Alex was writing that, and he had updated versions of this, when this popped back up, it was just game over to, you know, follow this in so alex did a little bit pre-market when he saw this weakness and then coming in the open added in and then just covered out beautifully at 385 so this whole morning action just paid dividends really nicely so really good job alex on tuesday 30 nearly 35,000. let's see what the members were doing as a lot of members were using uh the watch list as well to make money and just to again like it's not even about the money just have guidance every day to know what you're doing like yeah the money cool but like guys trade well and profits follow right you need the guidance so really good job rockman doing exactly exactly what alex was doing but a little bit more brave on the front side of that uh until that top was put in wolf i gotta shout out wolf guys this week wolf if you're listening bro big shout out i just love your process man i see you getting better and better and you have some great just really sick charts this week he's always waiting for this backside stuff and, and he's just he's doing really well man travers it's a little hard to see on your charts but i gotta shout you out every now and then this kid has just wonderful process on the long side on the way up on strong stocks and cutting immediately on semi to not as strong stocks that he till, still takes a stab on that again really good risk management you gotta take a stab follow your plan cut it when it doesn't work bing bang boom that's the way to do it uh ace really really nice job on atxg outer lines cover the wash beautiful job buddy beautiful beautiful everything's beautiful everybody gets a beautiful chart i'm like freaking oprah on a giveaway with the word beautiful <laughs> like everybody gets it uh let's see guys coming into wednesday twenty five thousand six hundred for alex plan in the morning was to short apm on a bounce towards vwap got exactly that then an offering hit awesome patience paid there SNTG was a tough one today really thought it might have one more push so took it slow but solid winners um, Alex, you know, definitely downplaying 25,000, but really good job, Alex. Let's pull up SNTG and APM. Give me one sec, guys. I'm going to try to pull all this up for you. Uh, I do believe we're on the third. So if I scroll back, this is the first, this is the second, this is the third. So I want to include all so you guys can see the dead cat bounce day, which this, which that's exactly what this is. And Alex was, um, 
Alex was hitting a little bit of this in in pre not pre market but in the open in this dead cat bounce guys we always talk about when something's given back it's full gains whether it's day one or day two going into the next day whatever the next day is if it's completely obliterated you need a really good bounce back to these resistance levels and we got just that and Alex you know just again just just de destroyed that um, 8 p.m. on the third let's take a look. So guys, right here is uh, it, it was running after hours on the second, coming in the third. So it's kind of like a day and a half. But this thing just it just gets smoked, man. Like I said, a lot of things this week, whether it did it after hours or pre market or inch day, up big with a lot of range, and then just like nuked, just fucking nuked, dude. Absolutely nuked. So you know, pretty crazy. But Alex was saying potential hot stock run of the day. He did some up to date information as this was starting to get some traction. But again, guys, we will always adjust our plans given what price action is telling us. And what do I always say? My Weber is coming into the open. If it puts in a nice top, literally right before the open, guys, it's actually showing last minute weakness, and that's a big sentiment thing. So guess what? You can hit where it failed before. Alex was scaling right here in a nine level, whole and a half dollar based on this resistance that coincides with this one as well. If you want to scale up to 10 near 11 size down because there's a lot of range and just a smoke show. So really good job, Alex. And that was a $25,000 day, you guys. So he's, he did good this week. He's over a hundred grand this week for sure. So we'll tally it up at the end, guys. But again, Wolf, big shout out. Dude, you are a monster, bro. You're a monster these days. Akon, really nice job. And I like the comparison of like a one minute chart in a 15 if he's using 15 that's really cool 15 is really good to see like overall trend guys so like when you have like one in three minute you can see obviously just really quick price action scalp price action three minute is for death candles major stuff five is like the start of really good trend and then like 15 is like you can see the whole freaking trend so been doing trading a really long time tried everything and uh and i really like three five and 15 minute um, especially if you're a swing trader for the five and 15 minute, but yeah, I mean, you know, give trial and error, figure it out, see if it's for you. I haven't used a one minute chart in seven or eight years. And, uh, and cause I want to see those stuff. So I want to see those death candles that I, we just love. I want to see those sentiment changes, but you guys will find what works for you. Uh, especially if you watch our content. So, uh, ACE, AKLI and comms, beautiful job, outer lines on all this, where the stock fell before, dude, so sexy, bro, so sexy, literally playing those channels, I love it, uh, Akon, again, E, really good job, you gotta wait for those outer lines, E, E's a little bit, I can tell E's got some emotion, I'm not calling you out, E, I'm trying to make you better, bro, I know you got a little bit of this, it's weak, let me hit it weaker, while this ad worked, many times it comes back, so just stay at the outer lines, bro, stay where the resistance lines are, but honestly, E, really good job, uh, uh, Diego, I love this. Uh, what needs to be said? Five for five today. Thanks, MIC. You got it, pal. You freaking got it, man. You're getting good. Uh, guys, we're just cut. We're just getting better. We're just getting better as the week goes on. Alex, fifty thousand dollars, forty nine thousand five hundred. SNGX bars were extremely expensive. I think they were fifteen thousand for Alex or something crazy. Um, and low quantity. Hesitated on locating at first, but as the stock melted down, I, all I needed was a bounce. So got exactly that and shorted on the bounce to four and added to my winner CYTO directly off the watch list. I did include CYTO at least because uh, I just kind of wanted to show guys like. I, I don't I don't have time to go through every example, but um, I do want to keep these videos somewhat short. But check this out. This is so sick. I do believe it's the fourth. Yeah, fourth. Guys, check this out on the fourth. So we have CYTO coming up. It completely goes up pre-market, puts in a beautiful freaking top right to outer lines. Alex smokes this and he says, I was looking for a bounce at 130, as you guys can see is right here to 140 to 150, obviously with a stop out at, you know, 155, 160. You don't want to stop out exactly where the herd is guys. That's why Alex gives a little bit higher than pre-market high to see how that works. So if you're literally stop, you know, every now and then if this would break and you're stopping out at 152, guys, how many times have you stopped out at 152, 153 and then boom, stuff that's because you're stopping out where everyone stops out so like if the pre-market high is 151 or 150 alex is going to give to 160 because how many times have you seen this go to like 155 and then boom stuff exactly what you want and you're like stopping out like an idiot with the herd <laughs> no offense whoever's stopping out like an idiot with the herd but it happens and you guys got to adjust accordingly. So Alex scaled this perfectly. In fact, he was too dead on with his entries. It should have got a little bit earlier, 130. But dude, this is so sexy. And he nailed this thing. He freaking nailed this thing. So beautiful job. And the members took advantage as well. Let's see what the members did. Got a bunch of members. 
You guys are getting it, man. Every single week, this is what you pay for. You guys get wonderful education, real time. Really nice job, Ace. I got to shout you out as well, just like with Wolf and PO and E. A lot of great members. Uh, just, just do an exact process this week, man. Exact. CYTO, only trade, but beautiful job. Exactly what Alex wanted. A little bit more pay. Oh, dude. Awesome. 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 And then Hooper X following weakness down on IMGN. Great job. Ace, again, I got to shout you out. Outer lines on Vino, where the stock fell before. That's where you want to be. It's like clockwork, guys. Like freaking clockwork. Um, I love this CYTO. Uh, who traded this again? Oh, Law. That's right. CYTO, Law. Um, just beautiful, man. I love. I actually totally agree with the VWAP short right there into the outer resistance line. Beautiful, beautiful job because sometimes all it hits is VWAP. And then Diego, two for two again. That's two back to back right off the watch list. Thanks, everybody. MIC is changing lives, guys. So if you're not a part of our community, I, I, I'm starting to think you just don't want it bad enough if you're not. Um, Coming off Friday day, today, guys, obviously uh, nearly $28,000, $27,900. Was a little late to my desk today. Looked like a slow morning, but CVNA was just perfect. I waited for a death candle, love those death candles, to short, then aggressively, aggressively added to my winner. This is one of Alex's outside of first red day, guys. This is his bread and butter. This is his comfort zone. Alex is a phenomenal adding quote unquote adding to a winner trader um not my strength at all i'm more of an outer line scalp guy scalp guy over again hit a channel scalp whatever uh but i i'm not an add to a winner type of guy alex is and he gets that confidence and this is how he racks up those monster numbers when he's right so um and he cuts when he's wrong so like dude i'm telling you man this guy's got a really good process but you gotta have you gotta have some real stones to do this but check this out so I waited for a death candle, aggressively added to a winner, and the best part, again, stock selection was avoiding the hot stock NBTX. I'll actually just pull that up for frame of reference, guys. NBTX. Guys, look at how much trouble you could have got in. So Alex, CVNA, bro. Let, this is stock selection, bro. This is stock selection. You guys got to pay attention to what is the stock that you need to be paying attention to. And what do I say all the time? I just said it like five times before this. Boom! Death candle, guys, that's the turn, the stuff, the death candle. I have a whole career built on death candles. <laughs> this is like the best indicator in small cap history. Alex absolutely annihilates it for nearly $28,000, as you guys can see. Once that death candle hands, it's freaking game time, dude. The only winners that I'm good at adding to are after death candles, but even still, man, you gotta have stones to do what Alex does. He's got it, man. He's got he's got the sauce, bro. He's got he's lost in the sauce. <laughs> he's lost in the adding to the winning sauce. <laughs> Actually, Alex is the most not lost in the sauce person I've ever met. Uh, Wolf, again, what can I say, bro? You crushed this week, and I'm so proud to see it. Uh, thanks, Alex Demez, off to watch this CVNA. Wonderful commentary throughout the day. What more needs to be said? CVNA, Dutchy Trader, why not? Why no pop? Haha, <laughs> he wanted this thing to pop back up so he could smoke it. But happy with the gains off the watch list. Uh, Mo did better than yesterday on top. Wow, dude, nice. I hope you sized accordingly, bro, because there's a lot of range in there. Um, and then Ryan from CT, bro, awesome job on CVNA. Uh, he hit the pops after. Beautiful job. You guys, you guys crushed this week man you absolutely freaking crushed it so i want to show you a couple things guys this is our community this is our slack chat room this is what you pay for um we also have myinvestingclub.com but i'll show you guys that in a second where the video library and resources are but guys there's tons of resources in here and this is our live chat so watch us in the morning every single day you know if we go to the main trading chat this is where the live commentary happens. This is where funny gifts and memes and and uh, mentorship and real live education and warnings and and Alex flexing with his beautiful girlfriend and how much fun they have at Disneyland and things like that. And he just has a great life. And like, dude, I'm telling you, man, like it's just fun to see, man. This is community and uh, just a bunch of great people, man. Large cap and options room, guys. If you're not a small cap trader, same thing, but for large caps. Steven traveling the world and flexing on everybody and showing everybody. I love to see it. So cool, guys. Um, you know, post your dinners. Oh my God. Look at Alex's dinner tonight. Jeez. Sheesh. Nice. Bro, that looks good, man. I, I don't know how you can eat all those carbs, bro. I'll freaking balloon up, man. Nice, nice, nice. Well earned. But yeah, guys. So, I mean, look, this is the community. We share pretzels. We share food. We share shots, share charts, everything in a nutshell. Post your charts, guys, in the chart recaps and fills. It's a really good time, man. It's a really good time. So let me go to the website and show you guys a couple things. This is for non-members. If you're not a member of MIC, guys, three things real quick. 
click this link right here one hour free training put your name put your email watch the one hour free course training uh, at the top right, guys, you can click this button and get a one-on-one -on -one consultation call with yours truly. I'm one of the head uh, mentors and creators of MIC. I do a lot of back-end work as I barely have time uh, to be an educator at MIC, but I do the weekly Wednesday webinars. Uh, there's just so much to handle when you run an enterprise this big. It's really big, guys. So um, we've got so many people to help. We've got you know three mentors, 30-plus moderators, thousands of students, and I'm here to answer your questions. I'm here to facilitate in your confidence level, your comfort level, and see if MIC is for you. We take this very seriously. MIC is our whole life, and we are trying to make this community just unbelievable for you guys. So you have a seamless, just absolutely streamlined experience at MIC and learning day trading, guys, from small caps, big caps, options to swing trading. And I'm really proud of what we built, and uh, and we should be because it's it's really changing traders' lives. I mean, read the testimonials for God's sakes. It's pretty crazy, guys. It's pretty crazy. Sometimes I'm like in awe of like how much we've done for traders. I really am, man. We set out when we created MIC in 2018 to, I, I don't know, in the beginning, get 100 members. And here we are, thousands of members later, like thousands and thousands of testimonials. And it's just been such a fun ride. And we're continuing to get bigger and better and, and more efficient. And you guys just wait, man. We got a lot more brewing. So... Guys, video library on myinvestingclub.com, one of your biggest resources. Here is a search feature. You can look up FOMO, First Red Day, Low Hanging Fruit, all of our strategy, like whatever. Then you have a full structure right here and roadmap to watch videos and content. You could scroll right here to Alex's Live Trades. This is a trading series exclusive to Lifetime, guys, where if you do want access, you will have to upgrade. So just DM me at tbradley90 in Slack chat. Or if you're not a member and you just go directly to Lifetime, just text my business line, obviously, at the 213-458-5997 for annual or lifetime access. Um, I'm actually running a discount right now, so send me, send me a code discount and I will hook it up. And guys, check this out. So this is a live um, screen share. Alex records his trades and then adds audio commentary afterward. And then we send to our editing team, which is a really awesome professional big team. They do a wonderful job of putting it together, you know, splicing the audio in so you guys can learn. And it's just a different way to learn. So it's really cool. And you know, while Alex is, you know, making whatever, 12,000 on this trade, 11,400 on this trade, 67, you can see his screen. You can see his P&L fluctuate. You can, and then he's gonna talk about his thought process of what he was doing. Like it's a big deal, guys, it's a big deal. So that's kind of everything. I got to end the week with tradition. Obviously, let's tally up Alex's score. Obviously, you guys can pretty much just kind of bird's eye this, but let's tally it up. It's just super fun. Uh, 25,600 plus 49,500. Sheesh. 27,900. Let's go. 137,300 for the week, guys. Unbelievable. This is before rebates. Alex is a monster. What a solid week. Uh, guys, this is this is your main educator at MIC, guys. He's already up over a million dollars on the year. So he, I mean, he's gunning for two any any week now, any month. And this is the level of professionality that we, that we are as an enterprise. So, guys, if you want to learn from the best in the industry, if you guys want to learn from Alex Tamiz directly every single day and so much more help and resources at MIC and take advantage of real mentorship, real education, and a community that legitimately cares about its members, guys, look no further book a call immediately, send us a DM immediately, send us a text immediately, email immediately, do whatever you got to do immediately. But guys, after the fact, go enjoy the weekend, spend time with your families. Don't obsess too much about charts. You got to spend time with your families and loved ones. But guys, this has been the ESPN MIC highlight reel. I will see you next week as I love putting this content together and just, uh, and having a quick, you know, face to computer, <laughs> face to face, face to computer. I'll see you guys next week.